Hey, and welcome back for another ISO Bytes video series. In this video series, we'll talk about ISO 42001 AI management system. I'll cover all of the clauses four through 10, as well as all of the Annex A controls and give you everything you need to get your organization certified. Next, we'll talk about Annex A.4, resources for AI systems. The objective of these controls is to ensure that the organization accounts for the resources, including AI system components and assets, of the AI system in order to fully understand and address risks and impacts. So what this means is you need to sit down and spend time thinking about what does it take for my AI functionality I'm looking to offer as well as the AI controls I need to operate. What does it take for those to function? What are the resources involved? So A.4.2 is resource documentation. Essentially, this is going to be where you articulate all of those resources on paper. The control reads, the organization shall identify and document relevant resources required for the activities at given AI system lifecycle stages and other AI related activities relevant for the organization. So that implies that you need to break down what those lifecycle stages are and determine at each stage what's going to be needed by the organization. Could be assets, compute resources, people, processes, technology. A.4.3 is data resources. This specifically talks about the data resources you're going to need in order to utilize the AI system. So the control reads, as part of resource identification, the organization shall document information about the data resources utilized for the AI system. A.4.4 talks about tooling resources. So these are kind of just subcategories of the resource documentation. It says, as a part of resource identification, the organization shall document information about the tooling resources utilized for the AI system. So again, just spend time thinking about what are the tooling resources I'm going to need, the people, processes, and te technology in my stack that is going to be needed to operate this. A.4.5 talks about system and computing resources. So now you're getting into what are the actual compute resources needed to run the AI functionality and the AI systems. It says, as a part of resource identification, the organization shall document information about the system and computing resources utilized for the AI system. And then it ends with a control around human resources. It's A.4.6, human resources. So that control is specifically talking about the involvement of HR in this process. It says, as a part of resource identification, the organization shall document information about the human resources and their competences utilized for the development, deployment, operation, change management, maintenance, transfer, and decommissioning, as well as the verification and integration of the AI system. So what that means is who are the people involved? What do they need to know? What do I need to make sure that they're able to do as a part of this system? So to break these down and to summarize them quickly, A.4.2 is sort of a overarching control that you can almost nest A.4.3, .4.5, and .6 under. So think about it that way and use those subcontrols as a good way to determine what needs to be within your resource documentation. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you still have questions about 42001, please reach out to us at risk360.com to see if we can help. Also, make sure to check out the description for some important links to other materials that will help you as you take your organization on this journey.